Declaring the event open, the governor of Anambra State, represented by the Commissioner for Information, Sir Paul Ngosu, applauded the NUJ for the initiative, urging journalists to pay close attention to the lectures for their health benefits for better service delivery. So making sure that you consistently look after your health. On this note, I will want to declare this health week open in the healthcare system i think uh, we have been doing uh, quite a lot in the healthcare system um, in terms of uh, um, all these um, the blocks in the strengthen the healthcare the governor of so although we have been doing that uh, we will talk about uh, human resource uh, we're getting a lot of uh, people massively employed in the healthcare system also in terms of um, um, equipment too we have upgraded some of the hospitals that will provide services to the people of the state uh, the three general hospitals we have uh, we are establishing we are upgrading the services especially in the rare areas that you may hardly get the services in the private sectors dental area that is the uh, general hospitals in Umweli, um, uh, and the uh, and the uh, Enugoku. In his opening remarks, Chairman of the Occasion and Chief Medical Director Princeton Orthopedic Hospital, Oka, Dr. Amechi Wachiku, said the importance of regular health care cannot be overemphasized, noting that health is wealth. So as you move about, you should pause and take your blood pressure, take your blood sugar, and also. And I know that uh, journalists are exposed to various stresses and you cannot uh, stop stress but you can manage it. So the, uh, the lecture went through the causes of hypertension, the management, how to manage the stress and also telling them that the healthy journalism makes the, 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 the journalists, a better journalist, healthy and all the society healthy at, at large. Guest lecturers on the topics, high blood pressure, causes and management, healthy lifestyle and stress in journalism highlight that life expectancy in Nigeria currently stands at 55 years, according to World Bank statistics, while over 90% of hypertensive patients are asymptomatic, which can only be detected through screening or during checks for unrelated ailments, hence the need that health of citizens, including that of journalists whose job is so demanding, deserves priority attention. If we continue on at all, you will find out that every disease has stress linked to it. Stress because it's a source Now this stress can a lot of problems. Uh, we is the administration because of stress. So the talk and the lectures we had today has brought to our awareness that we should once in a while periodically go and go for our medical checks to avoid stress and total breakdown. Host and chairman NUJ Anambra State Council, Dr. Odogu Emeka Odogu, and the chairman organizing committee, Mrs. Chinyere Fesi Okoye, among other participants, spoke on what informed the program while thanking God it was a huge success. Health is wealth, and we are interested on in the welfare of our members. NUJ is a serious business. And we are the new Hemsman on seats now. And we decided to champion a lot of causes for our members, both the welfare and other logistics. And Health Week is one of those about 50 committees we have that have just done their own. Other committees are warming up and to do their own. And today, people check their health records. Today, people have hope on the need to check their health regularly because before now journalists believe they are not sick but you accumulate a lot of stress on the job therefore you need to check your health status as you work to be able to be healthy it was a, a huge success i give god all the glory that after all said and none the day has come and gone when we began the journey it seems it won't come and go there were challenges here and there, but God on our side, we insisted that because we know health is wealth, and we journalists, we need to be healthy to execute our functions, we insisted that 
we must get to the end of it. And here we are today. We are saying to God be the glory that uh, the 2022 NUJ Health Week activities has been concluded successfully. High point was free Medicare ranging from vital organ checks, cum screening and free drugs provided for over 100 journalists and other guests. Dr. Ifanyo Konkwa is the medical team leader. We uh, were able to attend to over 100 patients, uh, the members and the outsiders that came in for the program. So the, the, medical, uh, the medical report from here is not so encouraging because uh, there are so many people that we are able to make a diagnosis of new onset hypertension and diabetes mellitus. That is to show that it is on the increase with the current data we obtain here and other places we've been to. I can authoritatively tell you that the hypertension is on increase and uh, so many factors play their role in it actually. Yes, uh, we have a dietary modification. We also need to uh, have a, a compliance, from, compliance with medications too because sometimes the patients go home, they don't take their drugs. The drugs are normally uh, on daily doses, but sometimes the patient they will take, they will go and do, uh, they will go and check their BP or blood sugar. They will tell them it's normal, so they will now skip. The 2022 Health Week lecture series, Kum Free Medicare, for the media practitioners, is worth the while. The event, holding after about a decade in the state council, was well attended by print, broadcast, and new media journalists from across the state. In Oka Ngozi Ukekaru, NTA News.